Namaste, Soul Tribe, Spiritual Healer, back to give you guys a message. Hi, my beautiful Aries, my baby bosses, my kings and queens. I love you guys. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Zone, or Venus. This message might resonate with you. Just keep in mind that this is a general reading and these messages won't resonate with everybody watching. But I did get a powerful message and I wrote it down on my notebook. I was channeling this energy. So somebody needs to hear this message, okay? It could be for you. It could be for somebody you're dealing with, all right? Yeah, so let's get right into this energy reading, okay? So somebody could be having nightmares, okay? Or this could be you or somebody else. Somebody's having nightmares. Somebody's having um, sleep paralysis. Somebody could be having out-of-body experiences. Oh, somebody could be having, um, yeah bully so there's a bully here okay somebody's a bully all right or somebody's been bullying somebody this could be spiritually this could be uh actually bullying somebody somebody's child could be getting bullied or somebody's uh bullying somebody at the workplace or somebody's actually trying to bully someone in the spirit realm this person's a master manipulator this person is an illusionist okay this person is trying to manipulate somebody in your life okay so somebody in your life is being manipulated okay in order to look at you like the enemy you could have been helping this person trying to help this person or you know you you've been in this person's life for a while you could be you could be you could have worked with this person you could have tried to help this person out you could have gave them advice or you just been there for this person okay this person could be somebody in your family somebody that you work with somebody that you know this could be even be a child okay so what I'm picking up on, okay, is that, is that there's like, there's somebody here that could be a counselor or a therapist, all right, this could be somebody's pastor, this could be somebody's grandma, granny, okay, well this is somebody that uh, you could have trusted this person, okay, and this is a specific message, this is not going to resonate with everybody. Okay, but somebody here was seeking some sort of therapy, some sort of moral support, okay, either for, for them or their child, okay? So this could be you uh, or somebody you're dealing with, okay? So somebody here went to see some sort of counselor, professional therapist, or they went to somebody they trust, and they open up to this person, and they, um, they were looking for advice, they were looking for this person to help them Put their life in perspective here. This could be you or someone you're dealing with. Somebody was supposed to make things clear for somebody. Somebody was supposed to help somebody get through a tough time. Somebody was supposed to be here to give somebody good advice or to give them some sort of health diagnosis or uh, mental health concerns. All right. Somebody went seeking therapy or somebody went seeking help or somebody went to seek somebody's advice. Okay. And when they went to seek this person's advice, this person is like a master... Uh, illusionist this person is a master in hypnotherapy this person was there to cause some sort somebody some sort of delusions some sort of memory loss maybe you went to see somebody okay and they did something in your energy but you weren't aware they did this in your energy because this person has a way with words okay so this person has a way with words they know how to speak certain words in order to trigger somebody to put them in some sort of state of confusion or to literally like this is what I heard, hypnotherapy. So you know when somebody goes to hypnotherapy and they're hypnotized and somebody says a certain word, a certain catchphrase, or they do this, or they put some sort of thing on, and boom, somebody's under. Okay, well, I feel like somebody's like a hypnotherapist, uh, a professional one, but they pretended to be just a regular therapist in somebody's energy or just pretended to give somebody just general advice on a situation or their input okay somebody seems like like they're not who they say they are okay so this is the type of person that can get into somebody's mind using their words and have this person under some sort of spell okay have this person under some sort of um, mind control because I feel like this is the ultimate mind control that somebody is being affected by this could be you or somebody else so somebody has the power to say a word, to say a phrase, to call somebody on the phone, to speak to them, or to click their fingers or do something weird, and then somebody else 
is under their spell. Somebody else is literally under their spell, under their trance. And this person can't control their body, can't control their actions, can't control their words, the way they are, the way they talk, the way they speak, the way they act, the way they come towards you. So somebody here is under the ultimate mind control or they wanted to put you under ultimate mind control. Somebody want, wanted to have you under his or her spell or somebody wanted to have somebody's child under his or her spell. Okay, so they can attach a spiritual parasite to you or this person to completely control them in order for them to target you or in order for you to be your worst own worst enemy to go down a dark path to be stuck on some sort of toxic addiction or pattern. Okay, and somebody's having out of body experiences. And becoming very suicidal now after seeing this counselor, therapist, or after getting advice for this, from this other person they thought they could trust. Or after being around somebody's energy. All right. They could have put something in somebody's food or drink. All right. They could have did something that, that was like under hypnosis type of energy by using words. And then I also heard the song by Biggie Smalls. Biggie, 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 can't you see? Sometimes your word just hypnotize me. And I can't, you know, as she weighs. So somebody could be very wealthy. Somebody has a lavish lifestyle. Somebody is professional in their field. Or somebody has some sort of credentials. Or some sort of, like, notoriety. No, notoriety. I can't even say that word. So this is somebody that other people can trust. Or they feel like this person has some sort of accolades. And, and people can trust. People go to this person. For, you know. So maybe you thought you could trust this person too. But this is like the puppet master. Or this is somebody that was hired uh, in order to cast some sort of illusions in your life. Or confusion in your mind. Or, your, or the person that you're connected to. They did this to them. This could be a family member, a child, a lover, somebody in your life. A friend. To uh, basically shapeshift around you, basically point the finger at you and say that you are responsible for things that are happening in their life or that you are their enemy and that you, you know, they need to destroy you. They need to expose you. They're blaming you for something. Somebody's going to be like having some sort of mental breakdown or they're acting irrational around you and they're literally, you try to help this person. You try to give this person spiritual advice. You try to put them on the right path. But there's somebody else that's a master man manipulator or an illusionist around this person that this person has been in contact with, listening to, watching, under some sort of like major, major mind control because this person's words are like hip. Somebody's words are hypnotizing someone else. In order to look at you like you're the enemy. In order to look at you like you're like you're the target for this person. Like, I don't know. All of a sudden, somebody's targeting you. Somebody's doing things around you. This person's not acting like themselves. They're not behaving the same. And they're looking at you with a side eye. You know, like you, like they need to destroy you. They need to expose you or like they need to come towards you. But it really is that somebody else attached some sort of dark entity onto somebody else to come towards you and attack you and look at you like the enemy. Somebody else's words hypnotize somebody to look at you like you're the enemy. All right. And do things around you just to cause you chaos and confusion in your life. Yeah, this could be happening to somebody right now as we speak. Somebody in, in your life or in their life is acting out of character. It's looking at this person or you like you're the enemy because they were uh, under somebody's manipulation. They were under somebody's spell. This person is a, a professional mind hacker. All right. They can convince somebody that something is actually happening to them or they can put something in somebody's mind or attach somebody to attach something to somebody spiritually. All right. Some sort of uh, spiritual uh, parasite. That's what I heard. And this other person is not themselves. So you need to get away from them or you need to put this person in, in a hospital or you need to stop working with them or you need to stop being around this person because like I said before, this person is not in full control of their mind, of their vessel, of their being. This person is being controlled and manipulated by a master magician, a professional hypnotherapist, all right? Or somebody here that is a professional occultist that attached some sort of spiritual parasite to somebody in order for them to look at you like you are the enemy, okay? Because the devil, he needs to have people come up against you at this time. He needs to have people looking at you crazy like you're doing something to them because you're spiritual, because you have spiritual gifts, <clears throat> because you light your protection candles, or because you gave them advice to go meditate, all right? Somebody else is putting this person on the dark path. And then I heard a thin line between love and hate, all right? So if somebody's acting like that around you, get them some sort of professional help. 
All right, because you cannot control the situation at this point because it's only going to cause you to uh it's only going to cause you mental confusion. It's only going to cause you to be in the two of swords. It's gonna, only going to cause you crown chakra attacks. It's only going to make you wonder what's going on and why this person is acting this way towards you. Why they're behaving this way. <clears throat> this person needs to go to church. like, Or somebody needs to go to like a priest, a pastor, a holy man, a holy woman. So they can pray this entity away from them. Or there's parasol sight off of them. Or somebody needs to take like... Uh, like a spiritual retreat, going out in nature for several days, uh, going in the river, taking spiritual baths. Like somebody really has something attached to them because of this, this professional hypnotherapist, this professional mastermind, this professional mind hacker. I'm telling you right now. So if some, if you are around somebody that's experiencing these things and they're acting different and they're not themselves around you, then uh, be mindful. This person needs some sort of spiritual protection, spiritual cleansing, or they need God to literally remove this off of them. All right? A counselor or therapist could have did this. It doesn't have to be a counselor or therapist. It could be somebody this person was listening to, trusting, or speaking with, or spending time with. Okay? <clears throat> yeah. Because then I heard, um, this person could be, like, completely out of control. This person could be, like, suicidal or having out-of-body experiences. Somebody could be having delusions, dizziness, or memory loss that this could be going on with. This could be you or somebody you're dealing with. And then I heard a thin line between love and hate. So yeah, it is a thin line between love and hate, and you guys know this. So this person is obsessed, male or female. They're a delusional karmic. They wanted to befriend you, all right, in order to cause some sort of chaos or destruction in your energy. This person wanted to befriend you. They could have been stalking you before they came towards you to befriend you as if they support you, like if they're like genuine or something, like they really want to help or they really want to be a part of your soul tribe. But this person has been stalking you for a while and they're obsessed with you. And then this person is somebody that could be trying to come in and gift you something as if they're trying to help you or they're just trying to be genuine or generous by gifting you something, giving you some money or a gift. And then I heard they can't buy your love. They can't control your destiny. And somebody here wants to stop you from being with your soulmate as well. So they're sending somebody towards you to like buy you gifts, give you money, or like like say they admire you, really, really try to resonate with you the most in order to keep you stuck in a karmic cycle because they're obsessed and delusional. They could have did they they could be doing this for money or gifts, or they're trying to present you with money or gifts. To try to like, or they're trying to present somebody that's close to you with money or gifts. Alright, but they can't control you and this person being together. Mm, okay, let's get the message spirit. Alright, the world card is in the reverse. So somebody's having like a complete ending or a complete mental breakdown. Or like this person's under somebody's control. Their body has been hijacked. Yeah, this person is like, yeah, illusions. This person's under somebody's spell, okay, when it comes to you. This could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. This could be another Aries, Leo or Sag, another Aries like yourself. All right, but this person is under somebody's manipulation. This person is going through some sort of, of subconsciousness, premonitions, or anxiety. Yeah, because this person really believes what they're seeing, what they're hearing, what somebody's telling them. They're very mysterious. Uh, this person is very mysterious. It could be affecting somebody's dreams or affecting your dreams trying to create fear in your energy so you don't meditate so you don't listen to somebody's advice that's really trying to help you okay so there's somebody here that's really trying to help someone and another person that's trying to make this person look at this person like the enemy like they're not they're the ones causing this but this person is really uh under somebody's mind control or manipulation tactics or this person is really not the same person anymore because they've been under somebody's spell okay so you got to be mindful with this person because they could be coming towards you, but uh, or they could be around your energy. They could live with you, you could live with them. You could work with them. They could be in your energy. They could be a neighbor. They could be anybody that's close that is being hijacked spiritually, mentally, emotionally. They're being hijacked. Yeah. They are. Look, this person's being hijacked. 
This person has somebody that's in their mind, in their head, talking to them, manipulating them, hypnotizing them with their words or whatever they're saying or doing, making them look at this person like they're an enemy. Like, okay, so there's like, there's this person right here confusing somebody about you. Basically, they're being confused about you. They're being manipulated about you. So yeah, if this person is acting funny around you, doing weird things and accusing you and starting um conflict with you, making you feel some type of way, then yeah, you need to move, remove your energy from them, all right? Or they, they really need some, ser some serious help here, all right? I'm just saying, because you are the Ace of Pentacles. You could have offered this person the Ace of Pentacles. You could have been real good to this person, genuine to this person, helped them through a rough time. Or maybe you've just been family to this person, related to them, in a connection with them, whatever the case may be. The Ace of Pentacles is here and the Ten of Pentacles. So the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse with the four uh with the five uh with the four of swords in the reverse is telling me that somebody's trying to create some sort of blockage, some sort of blockage in your life, with your family, with your loved ones, with your money. Okay, they're trying to cause arguments. They're kind of tr trying to cause misfortune here. They don't want you to be successful, so they're trying to block your success. They want you to feel exhausted, drained out, burnt out, spiritually attacked. All right? They want you to feel like you have to be isolated and lonely. They want to delay something, cancel something. So something like create, can cause cancellations. So if you own a business, they want people to cancel on you. So they don't. They want people not to come and, and, and get your service. They want people to cancel. They want people to be skeptical about you. They don't want people to come towards you and work with you. All right? Or they want this person to be skeptical about you. Because you're manifesting the Ace of Pentacles because you are the Ace of Pentacles. All right, but this person has been strategically doing something for a while, keeping tabs on you, watching you, doing something strategically to affect your Nine of Pentacles. Mm. Queen of Pentacles in the upright and Ace of Pentacles, okay? So, who's this Queen of Pentacles? Sneaky energy, all right? A lot of communication. Oh, wow. Okay, so somebody here wanted somebody else, somebody here, which is Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. So either the Queen of Wands, Aries Leo Sag, they wanted to come manipulate or confuse somebody about you, but you really are the Queen of Pentacles. You really are loving and connected to nature, reliable. You really are a working parent. You could be a single parent. You could be a working parent. You're very nurturing and practical, and you're very supportive. So you could definitely have Taurus Virgo or Capricorn in your chart here, whoever I'm talking to. All right, anywhere in your chart. But this person didn't want this other individual to see you as this loving nurturing individual they were sneaky and they communicated some lies about you to this person all right this so they can betray you so they can look at you like the enemy so they can go and work against you so they can tell uh like so they can manipulate this person ab about your spiritual beliefs or practices they want to manipulate somebody that you are doing something dark when you're not you use your gifts to help people. You use your gifts to protect yourself. You use your gifts to manifest blessings for yourself. But one thing you don't do is do this kind of stuff. All right? So somebody communicating, this Queen of Wands could be communicating to somebody here about you. And they're very sneaky and they're very cunning and they're manipulating somebody else. All right? About you. I'm telling you. So somebody else, like, is not acting. They're not who, they're not, this person is not themselves around you right now. All right, let me just say that. Yeah, they're furious. They're acting out of character. They're starting arguments and fights. This person is having like an outburst. This person is not the same person that you once knew. Or this person is furious and they're, and they're having some sort of uh, explosion in their energy and their life. Okay, because... This other person manipulated this person against you. Or this person is furious because they manipulated this person against you, but you found out, you removed your energy, you blocked this person, or this other person didn't get to get the job done. Okay, when it comes to you, whatever, they put this person on a dark path to come towards you. Somebody could be 71, 72, 73, or 74. Somebody could be born in the year 74, 75, 76, 77, 78. All right, this person is furious. Or they're making somebody else act this way around you. Yeah, they could be manipulating a child, a child that's gifted, a child that has gifts. All right, this doesn't have to be a child, but this person, this child has a, a vivid imagination, or they're very gifted. So this person uh, manipulated this child. All right, with all the false uh, faces, somebody is like not who they say they are. 
If this is not a child, then maybe you were very intuitive as a child, and these family members knew that. Now that you're expanding your higher consciousness, your gifts, you're starting to figure out everything. This person's furious because they really wanted to do you something. All right. And yeah, they were trying to protest. This They were trying to protest in your energy, basically protesting that you're chosen, protesting that you're gifted, protesting that you'll be successful, protesting about you to somebody else or other people and master, master manipulated somebody against you. All right, because they didn't want you and this person to have a bond, to have a connection. They didn't want this person to trust you. They didn't want things to go smoothly in your life and work out between you and this person. This person could be a family member, child, lover, ex, or family member, or work, a partner, a co-worker, a business partner, whoever you're dealing with. Somebody's trying to manipulate somebody against you, and they have. So you could be very overworked, overloaded with energy here, or this person's drama that they're trying to cause you. In your life, you could be over, over overworked, overloaded with, with stress here. And this is how they want you. They want you to feel defeated. All right? Somebody else could be overloaded with stress. Yeah, this they want you to be overwhelmed. They want you to feel inadequate. Somebody wants to sue you on some, like, false lawsuit pretenses. All right, spirit is trying to get your attention. These people want your attention, but you're not giving them your energy. So now they're protesting something. Somebody's putting a false lawsuit or complaint on somebody else. The justice scales will be balanced out. They won't get away with it. They don't want you to be logical, making logical decisions for yourself either. But you planted a seed. All right, so you planted a seed. And now it's starting to grow. Somebody could be planting flowers, planting a garden, or literally you planted a seed in your life. And this person was deceptive. They wanted somebody to believe that they can trust them, that they can take their advice, or that they had the good intentions, but this person really didn't. They gave them the okie doke. You see that person winking their eye? This person was just mad because somebody else hold you in high honor, and you guys had a strong bond or connection. And they pretended to help you or somebody else, but they really wasn't helping. This person was very stubborn. They wanted to cause a disturbance between you and somebody else. I'm trying to tell you they wanted to cause a disturbance. All right? Somebody could be in their 50s. Somebody could have a 17-year-old child, 13-year-old child, 14-year-old child. All right? Somebody could be in their 60s, 65. Somebody could be 22, have a 22-year-old child. Somebody could be born on the 22nd. Somebody could be born on the 17th. Somebody could be born on the 11th, have an 11-year-old child. All right? Somebody could be born on the 7th. Somebody could be born in the year 77 because the number 77 is here. So 77 is significant. Mm -mm -mm. They had a strategy when it comes to you. They wanted to affect your money and the way this person viewed you or other people viewed you. You know, to slow something down in your life. So that way you would have all these burdens and stress and you wouldn't be able to actually live in your highest vibration. Yeah, that's what they were. That's what this person is up to. You could have did a protection ritual. You could have did an egg cleansing. You could have did a home, a home cleansing ritual, a house cleaning ritual. Whatever you did, you did it right on time. <clears throat> now, um, something has backfired. Somebody could be manipulating somebody's son or daughter. Mm, mm, mm. Then I heard, hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. Somebody's name could be Jack, Jackie, Jacqueline. Jake. Or Jade. Maybe somebody here has a stone that's a jade. If that's a stone, jade stone. Ace, Ace of Pentacles, money. Okay, so they're trying to stop something from coming in for you. You have a windfall of money coming in or you have an offer coming in towards you that's going to bring you a lot of money. Something you've been working hard on and manifesting, they're trying to block that from you. Somebody's name could start with the letter A. Amy, Arnie, Arnold. Astrid, I heard Astrid. Angel. Okay, fake friends. Okay, this is somebody's fake friend, or there's fake friends surrounding you, or this person. 
okay? And you, they're, they're trying to block the fact that you're getting good news about money. And they're really pocket watching you. They're watching you so closely. They're watching every move you make. And then I heard, every move you make, every step you take, every move you make, every single day I'll be missing you. I, I really wanted to say I'll be watching you. Somebody's really watching you. All right? Secret enemies. Okay? That somebody wants to come and ask you out on a date. Okay? But this could be a fake friend that sent this person towards you to ask you out on a date. Or a fake friend that hooked somebody up with somebody to take them out on a date. Only because this person's your secret enemy. Only so this person could get up in your head. All right? Attach something to you spiritually. Put something in your food or drink. Take you out before you receive this information that this karmic sister knows about. This karmic sister or somebody's karmic auntie doesn't want you to have this. So they know that the time is up, that you're getting this, that you're receiving something, that you're going to be traveling or somebody doesn't want you to travel or move away at a distance. They know that you're making these plans because they've been watching you and strategically uh, manipulating somebody else in your energy to look at you like the enemy here, to give them information about you. This is crazy. Your money's increasing now, all right? And you're awakened to something, and now they're sending somebody towards you to court you, to date you, to give you a love offer, because they can't get, they can't get this, they can't get in your energy, or they can't get the job done, all right? Yeah, because they want to steal your money and your energy. They want to continue to be energetic vampires in your life here. Dark empaths, okay? This is who you're dealing with. Be mindful. Like I said, somebody's words is hypnotizing somebody else, okay? Somebody's a professional hypnosis, hypnotherapist, but they pretend. Like they're just regular person, giving you advice, looking out for you, la da 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 all right? But there's a judge here. Five of swords, avoid distractions. Somebody's trying to actually sue somebody, but they're a dark empath manipulating the judge, the justice system. 